Well, what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl anika here and i'm back again with another video in today's episode of content alchemy as promised i'm going to be showing you guys how i color grade how i create my presets you know the streamline process episode two okay well part two after you've watched episode one of the streamline process episode of content Al alchemy this is how i color grade my videos you want to go to the color tab in the same panel that I showed you guys, you want to select the color tab. And then once you're in the color tab, this is where the magic happens. You're gonna select one clip. This is what I do, I select one clip and it's going to show you in the effects control panel. It's gonna give you the details of the clip. So it's gonna show you the motion in video. It's gonna show you the motion. So that's the position, the scale, all that stuff. And you want to go to effects. So that's the effects window and it depends on how you have your um, your layout set up if you don't see the effects panel just simply go to window and search for effects and then select effects it's going to activate the window for you so now that that's done we're going to go to video effects right because we want a video effect so we're going to go to video effects and we're going to go to color correction once we're in color correction we're going to highlight lumetri color so select it it's, gonna, it's not going to apply right away so select lumetri color and then you're just going to drag this on top of that one clip if you don't want to do it this way you can go to the side panel on the right where it says lumetri color and you're going to click the box that says lumetri color and you're going to click add lumetri color effect and it's going to simply add it for you instead of having to go to the effects panel and so on and so forth so now that we have that dragged on the, the clip what you want to do now is select it in the effects control panel right so that you know what you're editing and then we're going to move to this area the the right side the lumetri color, color panel because this is what we're going to fo be focusing on right you can do some basic corrections like the temperature tint the saturation the exposure the contrast the highlights the windows the whites the blacks right you can do that on your own i mean it's all about experimenting to see what you like and what you know what you like to see on your videos and how you want to color your videos but we're going to focus on the actual like grading of the colors so we're going to go to hsl secondary that is located right under the color wheels and match go to hsl secondary okay now this is where the magic happens once we're in hsl secondary we want to make sure that we're in the key area so if that's not open just unfold the key area so what we're going to do these are the tools to set the colors different eyedroppers we have the regular eyedropper which is going to just select one part of the the video that you selected and then we have the eyedropper with the plus which is going to select multiple areas of the video then we have the eyedropper with the minus on it which is going to remove the selected areas right so we're going to be using the eyedropper with the plus on it because we want to edit multiple parts in our video so i'm going to focus on the background right i'm going to focus on the background and i'm going to hover over the background alone and then it's going to select an area to see the area that is selected you want to check the box that says color slash gray and you're going to see the area that is highlighted so once you go over it go over the, the background you can select as much as you want right you can even take the the eyedropper off of the selected area it's going it's going to disappear but all you have to do is simply click back on that area and continue with your selection now to see the area you're gonna click the checkbox that says color slash gray and you're gonna click it and the areas that are not selected are the areas in gray the areas that are selected are the areas that don't have any gray on it right so keep that in mind you can also set it to a different color set it to black set it to white black i'm just gonna leave it at color slash gray and now that that's done we can go we can adjust it by shifting the keys on h on s and l and the h stands for hue so you can change the hue the saturation you can adjust the saturation as well if you want to if you if you want to reset it all you have to do is double click the middle it's gonna reset everything so that's just food for thought and the l which is for light you're just gonna change that to whatever you want it's, it doesn't change the color when i first started using this i thought that it changed the color of the the video it does not change the color the color grading happens after so this is just to select the area and if you want to remove a selected portion of the, the video 
you can just go over this, that area, remove it, all right? Once you remove it, it's gonna turn gray. And then, like I said, you can always adjust it to your liking, right? So we're gonna just put it back to how we had it. Okay, so now for the color gradient part. That circle in the middle, that is where you change the color of the area that you selected. So my background is purple. I can click the center and just drag it to wherever I want it to be and just change the color altogether, right? Change the color, it can make it pink, it can make it a little bit more blue, you can make it a little bit more green, you know? And then you can change the temperature of it so that the colors are a bit more defined, right? Can change the temperatures of it to be more warm so if you select the red you might want it to be a little more warm there if you want to see what it looks like without with you in the image because if you select in the background it's just gonna take you out of it with the color slash gray selected so you're gonna uncheck that box just so you, that you can see how it looks right so you're changing all the colors you know trying all different colors let's say i want to leave it at this nice pinkish color right and then i change the temperature to be a bit more warm it's going to look a bit crazy obviously which is why you have to you know adjust and do a little bit more adjusting and tweaking you can change the tint to be a little bit more pink a little bit more green or just right in the middle if you want to reset anything just double click the middle and it's gonna reset or just double click anywhere on the track and it's gonna be reset you can change the contrast you can sharpen it if you want to you can add saturation to it if you want to you can also add a vignette if you want to right i really love this it just helps to you know make your video how you want it to be and then once that's done once i've done my adjustments and whatnot i simply go to lumetri color the same one that we have selected we did not it does not come off so it's already selected and i right click on it and i click rename I love to rename my my layers of lumetri colors just so like i'm not confused and i'm going to name this background i just put bg and it's going to be the background i'm going to know that it's the background right i'm going to add another lumetri color to it to this video and i'm going to make sure my cursor is has selected the lumetri color and i'm going to rename it right away i'm going to name it skin right so that we can know that i'm focusing on my skin and for my skin i'm going to do the same thing that i did um, previously i'm going to select everything on my face my neck i'm gonna reclick this again and go over my arms right i'm gonna make sure that the arms are selected as well i'm gonna turn on the color slash gray and we're gonna see that we only selected our face this regarding our eyes and our arms we can always adjust this so that it's more defined to what we want it to be right more defined to what we want it to be i'm going to show you guys what i what the denoise and blur is for the denoise is there as you can see once you increase it it's going to remove any noise like around it or on the video i'm just gonna put it at like 2.8 or and the blur now is to blur around your selection so i'm gonna blur just a little not too much so that it doesn't look too too blurred this is just to make it look less harsh i'm gonna leave it at 2.9 and then once we remove the color area you're gonna see that it's a bit blurred you can go back again and check it to see if you like it but it's really just to blur around the edges so that it doesn't look too 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 polished too edited so i'm gonna leave the blur at 2.9 2.1 and then for the color correction on my skin i usually like to play with the the saturation the temperature if i want my skin to look a little little bit more not dull but just not too much saturated i'm gonna bring down the temperature a little bit i don't really play with the tint that much if i do it's because my skin is looking a little bit too red or it looks a little bit too yellow um then we could go in with the contrast just to define the skin a little bit more and then um, you can go with the sharpen just to make your skin pop more or the your person pop more and then we can go in with the saturation to make our skin a bit more more pigmented look more alive and you could also add a vignette so once that's done we're gonna head over to saving the presets you can save this individually if you want to and if you just want to save time and save it as one preset you can do that as well i'm gonna show you how i save it as one preset so you want to deselect color slash gray and then you want to go to the two presets select one then hit command and select the other one and then you want to right click on it and hit save as preset rename it as whatever you want 
and it, you're gonna see it right in your presets folder and if it doesn't go to your presets folder then something is wrong because it should go to your presets folder and then you can just drag and drop it onto your clip and then go to presets and you're gonna see it save right there if you don't see it that's probably because it did not save properly but it should be there or it's saved somewhere else but it should just only be in presets and now all you have to do is take that preset that you created and drag it over another clip right or you can select multiple clips and drag it over those clips and you can save them individually as well but once you've done that you're gonna see in the effects control panel you're gonna see all the color grade that this video has on it the luminary colors you're gonna see it in the effects control if you want to remove one you can just click the F to remove one and it's gonna remove the FX and you're just gonna remove it it's gonna hide it and or you could just simply delete it by hitting the delete key and that's how I save my preset that's how I go do my preset and if you want you can also export your presets so let's say you have a preset that you really like you can simply export it by going to the presets folder I'm right clicking on the preset and clicking export preset and then you're gonna select where you want your preset to export this is great for if you have a I think a different project that you're opening or something and you want to transfer it to somewhere else if that makes sense um yeah or if you want to sell your presets and you just want to have it exported so that they could just drag and drop the preset or import the presets into their preset folder and yeah so those are the steps that I use to create my presets, to color grade and all that stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. Also leave it in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.